Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another video. This message is for many of my feminines who have been celibate on the journey. I, I can sense like, you know, a lot of you may feel ready to be intimate again. And you're in a place where it's almost like the universe is guiding you to continue to enjoy a little bit more of this path being on your own. And I think that I want this reading to really just be of comfort to those of you who resonate with this message that you know you're not going to be alone okay that's not what's destined for you um you know reaching outward <laughs> i think uh from the manara oracle tarot here or the oracle deck sorry um you know reaching outward and she's even got the tissue there um in the olden days the way a woman would want a man to know that she wanted him to court her was she would drop her handkerchief and he would you know pick it up and ask her if she dropped it and it would provide an opportunity for them to talk and flirt and exchange energy and so I feel again with this card reaching outward is that many of you energetically are wanting to experience intimacy you want to have sex again you want to know what it's like to feel a man or a woman's arms around you again take it how it resonates um, but you know this is for the most part where the feminine collective um is at and it's interesting here that she's on the balcony and she's in this castle here because it speaks of the celibacy that many of you have embarked on for probably like the last year or so i want to say um and yeah you guys are just feeling this uh sense of being ready for more you're wanting more now, at the same time, if you're on this whole twin flame ride, of course, you can feel your counterpart's energy coming through. But I'm feeling that a lot of you are very open as to whether or not this experience um, has anything to do with your counterpart. Because what I'm seeing is that many of you who went celibate, your energy became very clear. There wasn't anything else that was blocking your energy or creating any sort of emotional disturbance. And so because you're very clear on yourself and your expectations of who it is you are i feel that many of you have learned what it means to be sovereign and forge your own path and for a lot of you um being a twin flame doesn't necessarily mean that it has anything to do with your counterpart because i'm seeing that what a lot of you are feeling is that if you can't be with your counterpart right now you're not wanting to hold yourself back from being open to the things that are ready to come your way because i feel that for many of you your masculine was like this block <laughs> on your path without you realizing it um, and many of you are starting to see that you know what with or without this physical person it doesn't mean i'm not a twin flame or i'm not on a twin flame journey <clears throat> i think that for many of you you're starting to see that being a twin flame is someone who is experiencing awakening to romantic love to sensual love to erotic love um, just on a deeper level it's what your soul chose to come to experience here on earth you know a lot of people come to this planet and like <laughs> a relationship or love or experiencing that happy feeling of like hitting the jackpot where you just find true love on this earth for some people they don't really care about that experience right because maybe they've traveled here so many times already and they've been there done that they want to know what it's like to build an empire they want to know what it's like to be an inventor they want to know what it's like to discover things um there are different souls here for different purpose purposes okay so with this divine feminine um or this group of or collective that i'm channeling for i feel that your perspective um has really opened up and being celibate can also be paired with uh, the hanged man energy because I feel that being in that like upright position you certainly made yourself unavailable to other people's energy um, especially on like a sexual level or an intimate level and it's made you grow uh, spiritually in ways where you've certainly become more creative and again your perspective on life overall um, has deepened and this is what often um, gets referred to as like moving up in the dimension so you start seeing things on a fifth dimensional level and that's all it is guys it's like your perspective changes or you see a little bit more deeper into the world or yourself and you start having these like really profound emotions where you're just able to 
move along life and ha- handle challenges a lot more smoothly. And there's an openness to struggle um, is what I'm feeling. There's an openness to whatever happens in your lifetime because when you start embodying this knowledge of just, uh, you know, being on a twin flame journey, having this spiritual experience, maybe the word twin flame is like really triggering for some people. Um, specifically if you're experiencing separation or if you haven't connected with your counterpart in the physical for a really long time, you can, if it makes you feel better, just dismiss the whole twin flame label if it makes you feel uncomfortable and know that you're a sovereign being having a spiritual experience and this person just happened to trigger that experience, okay? And I feel like a lot of you are shifting in this way. You are becoming more open to experiencing what is meant for you to experience and it's, it was scary to get to that place because I think for a lot of you, it felt like you were letting go, um, which in a sense you, you are, but you're not shutting it off. You're letting it go. When you let things go, you allow it to be transformed. And if it makes it way, its way back to you, um, it's just part of that experience for you. But you will never know unless you fully surrender and you're able to be open to the highest good coming your way, okay? So yeah, definitely the feminines are feeling very flirtatious. They are wanting to invite um, other energies into their space, but the divine feminine has so much clarity right now in her high priestess energy and in the empress energy that whoever is entering her space, the signal, the energy will be very clear. This feminine is not about to waste time. She's done a lot of growing and she spent way too much time on her own to entertain um, like jester energy, okay? Fool energy, page energy. Um, I think with her bosoms out there too, it speaks like of a very mature woman. Um, like I've, I'm hearing the word like developed. So maybe like a lot of self-development, a lot of you have really mastered certain aspects of yourself. And when you are ready to attract a suitor, I really do feel that it's going to be someone who, um, what's going to, end up happening is like the sexual spark or the attraction is going to be off of mutual um like passions that you guys have do you know what i mean it's not going to be superficial where you're attracted to their looks or you're attracted to what they do for a living like nothing like that it's going to be more of like you guys are really passionate about the same worldly things you are passionate about wanting to affect the world in some way and that's really attractive to you divine feminine in order to like meet with masculine energies that um i want to say like they're stimulating a part of your creative self and and there's a lot of sexual energy around it for some reason when it comes to um attracting suitors okay you are attracting very mature men that are coming your way men that are very ready uh to make a commitment who aren't afraid of a commitment and what i'm getting with that energy as well divine feminine is that the energy you're giving off is that you're attracting men who are mature in a sense where it's like they're not worried as to whether or not things are going to end or whether they're going to get hurt or whether they're going to hurt you like they're not coming from that wounded space um they're coming from a place of just kind of seizing the day um just entering connections with you and i think that you're also sending out that energy because you're you're more open as well um i think that being on the twin flame journey as well it taught you that um again there's this openness to just experiencing the good or the bad and that's that part of you that's handling the challenges in life a lot easier um i'm gonna get some more messages here for the divine feminine collective from uh, like just the energy around this reaching outward card here okay what does the universe want you to know to expect like what's coming your way And this could be like just in the area of connections with other people, okay? Yep. Yeah, that's that energy I'm talking about here as well with um like a very mature man, maybe someone that's like very caring. Maybe you guys might connect around like animals or children, like your children, maybe they have children. Um it's just something that you connect with. Maybe you are both really hands-on parents. Um, you know, the six energy as well is about perseverance. And I feel like the Divine Feminine Collective has suitors that are coming her way. And even if this is within your own Divine Masculine and they are like shaping up in a sense, or you might find yourself, again, aligning with the type of energy to attract this to you, I feel like this is what you're ready for. Like you wanna build 
on love relationships in your life, thriving relationships. You're ready to persevere and overcome all of the heartbreak that you've been through on your twin flame journey. You're ready to transform that and be open instead of being very attached to a specific outcome. And I think that that's what has held many of you back as well. Um, even in the times where you were experiencing separation, I, I think that because of this whole twin flame label and the spiritual aspect of it, you held yourself back in certain ways, but now you're experiencing a lot more freedom where you're seeing that it's not just a fishbowl that you're in. It's a, again, this great big ocean. Okay. So the energy that you're feeling is a lot bigger this time around. Um, we have death and rebirth and I feel like death and rebirth is coming up for many of the feminines because again it's really getting out of that space where you thought that you were going to be like this old crone like old and lonely and always pining for your divine masculine and they'll never be ready and i feel like many of you have woken up from that crazy slumber and um you're starting to really spread those wings you know you're really starting to soar through the ocean and swim as fast as you can and enjoy the big open space out there you know for earth signs, you're just ready to charge ahead in an open field, you know, realize like how much beauty there is out there to be experienced. And uh, it, like, I love that this card in this particular deck, this is the light seers deck. It says death um, with rebirth because the death part did feel really scary and lonely. And I know that many of you have been longing for, you know, just like sexual connection again with someone else but again there was this big shadow okay this big devil energy over you that made you feel like you were boxed in waiting around you know for this ideal version of your divine masculine to show up in your reality before you gave yourself and i feel like this no longer haunts you it's like of, of course the embodiment of who your counterpart is um is always going to be there they're always going to be that very soul that has triggered this deep awakening within you um but this energy of like i've got a hold on you um with this devil energy it no longer um is able to send the feminine in this like world of illusion here okay i feel that again uh, it's like the whole big um twin flame shadow at times especially when we're experiencing tower moments or like the death here where we're completely in solitude and we're alone and endings have to happen and we have to deal with the tough stuff um i feel like it's just just like that like a poof of smoke it's gone and you guys woke up one day just feeling that aha moment or that epiphany coming through and you're ready for like the two of cups you're ready to just allow your soul to sing, allow yourself to experience romantic love. Maybe because of this whole twin flame experience with your particular person who is the embodiment of the divine masculine energy, it's like you put all your eggs in that basket and that's the illusion there. That's the devil energy. It's like the twin flame love is supposed to open, make your heart burst open when it comes to wearing your heart on your sleeve and being daring towards experiencing romantic love it was never meant to create this illusion where you were stuck or you were left waiting or you were left in heartbreak um in fact it was the exact opposite it was supposed to make you get back to being sexy and single and free and autonomous and sovereign in whatever way shape or form that means for you um just to be able to enjoy who it is you are again and know that again this experience is not meant to latch you on to someone and, and pine after romantic love and, and feel abandoned and feel abused and it's meant to awaken you to walk away from those things because they just don't feel good they don't feel like this beautiful maiden here right and a lot of you have had to feel the despair on the journey and now a lot of you are walking away from that what on earth was that sound <laughs> But, um, come on, guys. And I feel that maybe it's a feeling that you guys have been missing for a really long time. Um, so I think, like, you know, the energy behind this reading is to let you guys know that you're fully taken care of and you're supported by the universe. And if a lot of you are feeling that 
a bit of loneliness or just wanting to feel the touch of intimacy again in your life I feel like the universe is letting you know you know it's there it's right around the corner it's coming all you have to do is invite it in but you have to be um, you know fully trusting of it to enter into your space okay so what's the best course of action for the divine feminines who are in this energy right now oh okay I'm gonna take this one here and this one so we have a major arcana which is the star card that's coming up okay and the message on it says look to the future with hope and optimism the power of faith to move mountains happy changes that bring relief <laughs> from challenging times i love that because it's like no pun intended about you guys wanting to feel the touch of someone again okay so happy changes that bring relief from challenging times i think it's time for you guys to start setting your intentions and looking onto that star at night and making that wish that says that you're open to receiving love in the highest good in the highest form of unconditional love and don't worry about what your masculine is doing or where they're at on their journey the more you can detach from an outcome the more pleasantly surprised you will be on this journey okay and again especially if you guys resonate with twin flames you're meant to experience great love okay so we have the six of spring ending off this reading wonderful news that's on its way smart choices that bring rewards success and public recognition okay and i think i think that public recognition part two is just it's it's allowing the world to see you happy again divine feminine and i think that whatever is in store for many of you at this time regarding you and your divine masculine the universe is wanting change to be orchestrated in a way where you guys can feel abundant again you can feel sexy you can feel wanted um you know if you're in the feminine energy like feeling the masculine energy's hands on your body feeling a, a man hold you or kiss you or a woman you know take it how it resonates but um again i feel that it's right around the corner when it says good news it's on the it, it's way to you okay so there's something brewing in the air for this collective of feminines when it comes to romantic love all right i don't know who this reading is meant for but i really hope it finds you well all right i love you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one bye